Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, sorry, it's actually been a long time since I've put one of these up. So, um, just things getting in the way. Still pumping out the podcast, though. So, check it out, BrutalBattle.com or iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Brutal Battle. Just search it. So, uh, I'm back. Hopefully, I'll be doing these a little more regularly. Maybe like one a week-ish. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little less. I don't know. It's mainly just what I'm drinking, when I'm, you know, not doing the podcast, so. Anyway, uh, what we have here today is uh, a first for Brutal Battle Beer Break, I think. Actually, maybe not. Mm, I'll have to check on that, because I believe I did Pseudo Sue before, but this is Tsunami Pale Ale by Toppling Goliath. They are out of Decorah, Iowa, and this beer does not have an ABV on it, but as you can see, you know, just a wave. It's a tsunami. It's not like an amazing ordeal. So, uh, just to give you an idea, maybe I should start doing this with hoppier beers. Just give you an idea of about how far out I'm drinking these. So, this one was canned on March 1st of 2017, and I'm currently about to try this on May 24th, 2017. So, uh, also a big thank you to Kyle Norman, a listener and big time supporter of the podcast and family actually um he gave me this so thank you we cannot get toppling goliath where we are so hoping it's good just a little pour in there see the tsunami all right looks like you know pale ale slash ipa it's very orange there's a bit of a haziness to it. Nice big head the way I poured it. Um, real significant. So, it's a little little bubbles clinging on the sides. Let's see what the smells like. Oh, yeah. Citrusy. More like a really soft orange type smell in there. There's a little bit of a honey note and a little bit of kind of like a sugary sweetness on the end. Slight bit of kind of like a straw or hay type note on there as well. Smells good. And you may hear my cat yelling because uh, <laughs> she's, I don't know, she's weird. But anyway, try this. Solid. It's more on the piney end. I do get some of that kind of orangey citrusiness, but it's more of like a sweet um, citrus coming through with the, you know, I was talking about that kind of like sugary sweetness on the end. That's kind of rolling in with that orange flavor. But there's a decent pine note that's also in there, and they're kind of uh, about equal, I'd say. And then that straw, that kind of straw note I was getting on it, and the honey. Easy, solid, nice pale ale. Nothing crazy amazing, um, like their pseudo Sue I know is also a pale ale, but I think that has like a lot of citra in it and some other stuff. It's actually been a long time since I've had that beer, but at any rate. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you everyone for checking this out. Um, Toblin Goliath, if you can get it, typically I know good things. So anyway, thank you for checking this out. Check out some of the other videos. If you have any ideas, just shoot me an email, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And until next time. Go have yourself an awesome beer and keep it brutal.